Hello guys. Uh, I would like to show you uh, how to to remove uh, Mercedes Benz uh, catalytic converter. Uh, we took uh, the owner took the car to the garage, and uh, it's I mean the engine light was on, and he took the car to the garage and the. Uh, they told him that the problem is the catalytic converter somewhere uh, so you know, he don't have money to buy it's cost very expensive and this is a Mercedes Benz you can see Mercedes Benz 2008 I think 2008 and 2009 and uh, uh, actually this is the first time for me to work on uh, this car and here is the parts the he we remove it and then the they cut uh, this parts and then they remove the filter and clean it and then took it to the garage to to weld it again as you can see so that is how it is and um, yeah. actually it's a bit tricky the way to lose it because it's, it has so many joints but it's hard to know if you can remove it in the small pieces like this but it does it's possible to remove it so i'm thinking to make a small to move to make a video about it so if you want to in case you want to do it you have a problem you want to do it yourself then it's easier to to follow to watch this video it will give you some uh some easier way how to to do it but first because uh, i removed it before my camera was having uh, some problem so i couldn't film it when i was removing it but uh, i will uh, mount it I will fix it back and then I will film and show you exactly step by step when you want to remove it how to do it but this is how the pieces are it has three joints and you as you can see there are some clips between the one clips is this side and then the other clip is on the other side on this side so all the clips is, is possible to remove it but uh, if you don't know then it's hard to think if it, it can remove but it does so uh, this is how the clips is first you lose it you remove the bolt and then you can uh, you use some screw screwdriver to put it in between to open it but uh, the other side used to be hard to go out if the car has not been removed for I mean for quite a long time then it's hard but uh, I this is the pieces so I will put it back and then I will film it to show you how you can do it yourself also I mean when it comes to removing it so And um, uh, this is how the the boat is in, you know. Uh, this is a type of the boat you is uh, holding. It's three of them, and you need uh, this is a special uh, tool like this one. Actually, if you can see, this is number uh, twelve. This is how it looks. This type of uh, and so it's a tray of them two of them is quite easier to remove that's where the is set you know it's here and one of them one is here and then one is there and the other one is under so that one is quite difficult but uh, uh, 
it's possible to lose it anyway but then you need a uh, uh, that kind of uh, these tools you know like that can be bend in different way you know, you can see as you can see then it's easier to to move it around until you reach it and then lose it so i'm just uh, mounting it now so just so that you know so now i have first when you lose it it's easier uh it's difficult but uh, by mounting it again then it's quite easier to to put it in pieces before you complete it so as i'm doing it step by step actually i remove it back just to show you something uh, look this uh, it has three places but as you can see uh, this side is being cut you know so that is the down one so what i notice is that uh, first you put the boat into the engine first and then uh, this is a uh, bracket behind between then you put this then uh, you push uh, let me see if I can find the other note. yeah so you can see so when you put the down boat first into the engine then it's easier it's easier to you know to put this in just like that uh, you see to put it in like this and then you can put the upper ones in otherwise if you put the upper ones this ones it's impossible it's very very difficult to put the down one that's why they cut here like that so you put it in the you put the screw the bolt in the into the engine first and then you put this down like that before you put this ones the upper ones the two upper ones that ones are easy to put it uh, that's why i move it back so i can show you so it will be easy otherwise you will struggle so much yeah as you can see now it's a bit dark so i will see how possible i can get the light oh so quite uh -huh, sorry. okay now again uh it's a bit tough now i mean put the lights and uh, the dark if i mean as you can see the exos uh, uh the, the light is too strong let me see yeah look here is the engine side so that is the and the nice connecting you see there is the one drum there there is an one drum and then the second one is, is down there i don't know how i can uh, reach there but anyway it's two two i show you on the first uh the starting of the film and this is not in here uh, it's uh, actually it's some uh, some hose connected to this uh, this side, and this one you have to remove it. It's uh, two bolts. One is there and one is down there. So you have to remove this one to be able to get its space to this to to lose it. Otherwise, it will be very disturbing on your way. So just uh, remove it then you can get enough space to continue to lose the second joint of the exhaust and uh, as uh, as you can see 
there is another joint here so joint here and there is a two uh, uh boot you know uh, this side and then up going up there there is a two uh, joint also as i show you in the first in the beginning uh, so first you lose this one you lose this side and then you lose um, this blanket the down blanket this one uh, actually this uh, this boat you lose it a bit a little bit but uh, you can let don't don't remove all uh, then you remove the up ones the black two blanket the two joints that I told I show you from the beginning then you can uh, try to remove the blank the blanket the two, the two blankets before when you remove it then you can come down here to remove this side this blanket also then you can have some uh, something to shake it uh, so when you shake it uh, you lose up there and you lose down there so when you shake it then hopefully the the joint will lose then uh, there is a one sensor there, there is a two sensor but first this one you see there's a lot of sensor here and the other one is up but this one here I'll see how I can show you if you can see inside there it's just a 17 uh, 17 boats or how do you call it uh, uh, spanner so you lose that one that one I think you need to remove it all it might be hard but you need to spray it a bit and then you lose that one uh, then when you lose up the up two blanket then I think uh, the other one you don't need to to lose it it may it will come it's just inside there but just it's hard to see it oh uh, so but well, this one I think you need to remove it otherwise it may uh, broken Oh, when you do it also, hopefully you also will, can find some way that can be easier for you. But important is to lose this joint and this blanket, uh, it is two boats. And then the upper one, the two upper ones, then hopefully it's easier for you to get, get it down. And again, before you 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 can reach the the exhaust, I mean the boats, you need to remove this air filter. This is this one. The way it will, it will disturb you if you don't remove it. So here there is a three boats, and it's one here, and then one is down there. Now. So you know to remove it to be able to get enough space to to do your work. Otherwise, if you don't remove it first, you will find it very difficult to to reach it. So just so that you know.